The families of a Houston couple killed in a botched police raid in 2019 are still seeking justice. City Council recently approved more than a million dollars for legal fees to fight a lawsuit, a civil one, in the incident that left Regina Nichols, Nichols and Dennis Tuttle dead. Fox 26's Sherman Dissell recently spoke with the woman's mother about the case five years to that date of that day. Five years will be Sunday. They've done nothing. Joanne Nicholas says the death of her daughter, Rogina, still causes her to wake up at 5.30 a.m. some days frightened. It's the time police knocked on her front door to let her know. She gave me a number to call in Houston. I said, what has happened to my daughter? I knew something had. January 28th, 2019, the Houston Police Department claimed Rogina and her husband, Dennis Tuttle, were drug dealers and said narcotics officers received a tip from an informant about the sale of black tar heroin inside the couple's home on Harding Street. The officers entered on a no-knock warrant. Police claimed Tuttle shot at officers first and they returned fire. Four of the five officers were shot. The couple died on the scene. Investigators later said they did not find heroin in the home. A few weeks later, former police chief Art Acevedo said the tip was a lie. When you lie on an affidavit, that's not sloppy. That's a crime. Gerald Goins, the HPD veteran who secured the botched warrant, was fired and charged with capital murder. A thorough investigation revealed Goins had a history of this. The DA's office identified dozens of people who may have been convicted on false evidence from the former officer. We know now that this raid would not have happened but for the criminal actions of Officer Goins. Chuck Bork represents the Nicholas family in the civil lawsuit against the city of Houston and the former police chief. Just recently, the city of Houston voted to pay an additional $1.7 million in legal fees, a grand total of $2.9 million. We've been told that we keep hearing the narrative of it was two rogue officers in a single incident. It's clear that's not the case. The Houston Police Union president agrees it's been too long of a wait for justice to be served in this case, but still insists criminal activity took place in that Harding Street home as he says guns and drugs were found inside. The DA's office will be the first to tell you there were narcotics found in that house. Now, it doesn't change the fact that someone lied to get a warrant and that it completely altered uh, the lives of a lot of people. But Griffith also says cases like this could impact relationships between police and the public, reasons why the union won't be paying legal fees for Goins. Joanne Nicholas says she hopes justice will prevail for her daughter Regina while she's still alive to witness it. God helps me get through the day if it wasn't for him. I, I don't think I could make it. I'm going on 90 years old. And I want this cleared up before I'm gone. Policies within the department have changed since this botch raid. Supervisors now have to be present in discussions with criminal informants. Standard operation procedures have also changed on how warrants are executed and also operations within the narcotics divisions are different. The civil case is moving forward, but the criminal case against the former officer Goins has not advanced. In the newsroom, Sherman DeSalle, Fox 26 News.